what, what are the most important things this time of year that, like, preparing for spring ball and then that you want to really see early in spring ball? Good indicators. Yeah, I mean, the, the, especially the first step, not to spring ball, it's like our first time together in the offense, you know, defining roles, yeah. figure out who your leaders are, um, figuring out who you've got in pads that we've seen them run around and, and, and you know, and... and what I call tights and tights and bikes, but a lot of guys are too old to know what bike shorts are. You know? <laughs> yeah. um, uh, I, I just think that there's a lot of stuff you get to do um, in spring ball that are really cool. I, I mean, being able to cultivate a, uh, an offense and, and, and players that want to uphold some standards and goals that you know win. Um, you're installing, you're doing this. The scheme stuff vitally important to get it installed, but you're doing so many things in spring that are really cool that you can take some time with that you don't afford, aren't afforded in fall because you don't get days in between, you don't get weekends, you're not, there's there's a piece of fall that, that really changes in regards to the, to the uh, I don't want to say the urgency because I'll never up, I'll never take my foot off the urgency piece, but it's just different. Um, there's just a lot of stuff you can get done as a, as a unit, you know. How much are you, what you guys are, the overall package are you trying to put in in the spring? And what have you learned over the years that helps expedite that process? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, I think you try to comp, our system's pretty complimentary of itself in, in a lot of ways. You're trying to make sure you get the packages in, the right package to follow. Um, I think, if you, you know, the question always is how much of the percentage of the offense do you have in? I, I, it's hard to ever figure out when you got 15 practices in the spring you just put it in how much will they take you know being able to pull back I think if there's anything you've learned in the past at past stops usually it's how to pull back a little bit when you need to or how to push and so if it get absorbed it get absorbed pretty fast then you're then you're fired up you get a little bit more you may have to pull back a little bit and let guys um, stop thinking a little bit or play free you may have to pull back because of injuries um, there's some situational football in there um, so I you know I I don't know if there's ever a percentage. I think that you want to get your core elements in to be able to give your guys an, a, a, an advantage of going into summer and going into fall camp feeling like they understand the offense and give yourself as coaches a chance to evaluate. Be installed for 15 practices. I, I'm throwing a test every day, and I haven't seen guys play free or fast, and that's not really fair for me as an evaluator, I think. Coach, you at Oregon, you know, were known for a lot of kind of innovative blocking schemes and being able to run, you know, a various different plays out of very similar looks. And, you know, Coach Dillingham did a lot of those things after you at Oregon. How much do you guys kind of come in now at ASU and plan to marry those two, you know, systems? And, and, and how much are you guys going to kind of combine that? Yeah, that was the exciting part about when me and first Kenny first started talking was I think that when we got through the. Uh, you get through the, the stages, the things you got to get through in an interview process about you know the people and the place and your beliefs and core values and teach progressions. And then you get down into the X's and O's. Um, I think that's where we both found out that there were some exciting pieces in there because the way I think matched up with some of the things that he thought about. And he saw what we did when he went up there and asked some pretty pertinent questions, which were fun for me to hear because it told me that he was that they saw some of that stuff. Um, your packages are. Are fun. The way, we, the way we do some things on offense is fun, and I think that uh, being able to marry up some of the thoughts that we've evolved to since whatever, you know, 17, 18, 19, Tampa, Cal, Oklahoma State, and start marrying those things, that's been fun. And now to be able to come and, and, and talk with him a little about, about, about what it's changed even since then has been pretty cool. So um, the staff and the players and, and, and Kenny and everybody has really um, done an awesome job of leaning into kind of how we do things. It's been fun. How do you plan on, on kind of beginning to even build an offense around you know, the specific skill set of, of Jaden Rashada in comparison to you know other quarterbacks that you may have had? Yeah, Jaden, Jaden, and Sam, and 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 uh, the quarterbacks we've got have got a skill set that I think fit what we've done. I mean, um, I think the things that that we do don't don't give those guys any more advantage or disadvantage than the guys we've had in the past. I mean, you do have you know the Mullins or the Golfs or the Herberts of the world that are pretty good players, but that that's not to say that they were in year one. I mean, right. we inherited an Oregon, a four and seven football team with a freshman and Justin who had no wins, you know, and we had to be able to take a three-star kid with three offers and take the talent and build it around him. And I think Jaden and Sam and the quarterbacks, the guys we're bringing in, see the, the offense collectively and what we're able to do, uh, how we're able to produce, who we put around them, the, the weapons around them, the wide receivers here, the tight ends, the, 
the offensive line we've built in the last places and how we believe about the front matches up really well. I think that's a big piece of the quarterbacks understanding how the position is played, not only individually, but collectively as a system. So Jaden and Sam's and, and, and T and, and Navi and incoming guys as well, their skill set fits great for our ability to push the ball down the field, um, play fast, play with packages, be quarterback centric, which is been the heart of what we've done in the last you know seven eight nine years do you plan for your style of play to change any bit you move into the big 12 obviously it's a lot different than pac 12 defense no the beauty of it i was in the big 12 oklahoma state and we yeah. did an awesome job we came in from tampa bay that year and 14 i think it was 14 or 50 came in 14 15 16 oklahoma state and um the year before we got at oklahoma state with gundy was they were 10 and spread and defenses were evolving in this conference and it wasn't as productive probably the first time they hadn't been really productive in a long time and so we came in that year uh came in from tampa was headed to another nfl team and um we really sat down and hashed out some new ways to do things in this conference and i think that's where a lot of the the upward trending as far as run play action stuff with what this offense does uh really took shape fast in this conference. So I, it helped and was exciting for me when we got on the phone to say, and to see Arizona State's going to be Big 12. I'm, I, got a, I got a lot of, I got a lot of uh, real respect for this conference. A lot of, I've had a lot of really fun games. This conference, I think it's a great, amazing conference for the people, the stands, like the, the communities that support these teams. This is a badass conference, man. I'm excited about it. So it doesn't really, the, the fact that they play different fronts and the Iowa State's kind of more style, that doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't lend itself to you guys on the front end crafting what you guys are doing a little bit differently? Yeah, I think there was a time and a place where before you, you know, before, you know, I, I probably go back, now I'm dating myself, before there was so much change in college football, you may not have all the Big Ten defenses on the West Coast. But now with so much influx of coaches and players and conference overlap, you're going to see Rocky's defense from sure. New Mexico, which you only saw if you played New Mexico. You're going to see that now with every disciple he's had, and you're going to see it all over. You're going to see Danny. You're going to see Iowa State. You're going to see 3-3 three, three Stack Monster. You're going to see those things you're collectively. Now, I say that because also been around a lot now. So now you've got kind of some back, as, you know, as I'm saying right now, oh yeah, it's because I know I played those guys, those defenses. So um, I'm excited about the conference. I'm excited about who they're playing. I think some great coaches. I think there's some great schemes, but I don't see it um, being so uh, different than the past places that we can't handle. The game always evolves though. Like, um, you know, what Utah has been able to do with its tight ends. Yeah. What became like a differentiator from a lot of Pac-12 teams in some ways. But that you see maybe more of that in other part, other places in the country. How do you sort of like what what things do you do? Just kind of stay fresh on what things are are more cutting edge, given how much it go, goes on around the country. Yeah, I, I don't have much of a life, so I'm I'm a complete <laughs> junkie. Um, I, I really am. I, I've never done anything more than just football. Yeah. Um, I eat, sleep, and breathe it. Uh, I try to stay in our tree a lot. Between been really fortunate to be around some really good minds in football. So between Dirk and Jeff and Monk and, and Gundy and McVay and Tedford and like to about watch all my tree really evolve football is probably what I first hone into before I just branch out and go watch someone who I don't really know how they're doing things. So to watch, you know, and that tree is pretty 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 successful, to watch the Rams or to watch Minnesota or to watch you know, uh, Shanahan and there, watch the Dolphin, watch these trees of guys. I know what they're built around, and to see that's probably where I spend the most time um, as far as scheme goes. And I think there's a lot of those commonalities with, with the, what we do. So you see, you look at, you study the way they attack certain different yeah. blocks. And, and more than anything, because I think I have a little bit of understanding, have visited those guys and spent time with them, you yeah. know what the thought is instead of just being ambiguously watching somebody's tape and going, oh, I know why they're doing it. And you're sure. like, you screw it up. And you're like, well, that, you go talk to them like a year later. Like, well, that's not why we're doing it. And you're like, oh, shit. Got it. <laughs> Sounded cool. Looked cool. You know, that didn't work for us. But Appreciate your time. Yeah, no problem. Nice to meet you.